Carl here from Games Brains and Headbanging Life. GBH Bill at Cobb for short. Reaction time, solo reaction time. It's been a little while since I've got in front of the computer, felt able and capable to do some reaction videos. Blood Stark Arc Tangent, so busy in August into September, still struggling to catch up. Work, normal life means just don't have the time, but still on the website, constantly doing stuff, reviews still going up, single slams. And this video, this is what I want to check out here, is going to be part of an upcoming single slam, but I wanted to check it out in a reaction as well, because uh, it's from Gossip Alanis, a favourite of ours, a favourite of Brendan's, a favourite of mine, a great, great band from this country, did an amazing stuff with a debut album, and now building to this second album, which seems again to be rooted heavily in the storytelling aspects. The first single was spectacular. Uh, really, really strong symphonic extreme metal. Excited to see what this single can do. The Lycaon King, I think that's how you say it. Lycaon King looks like it. There's got a bit of a story as well. If you go to the YouTube video uh, description, it's got a very lengthy story about the opening of Pandera, Pandora's box, chaos unleashed across the realms. Lycaon, the king of Arcadia, corrupted. There's a lot there. I'm not going to read it all out. Go read it. It'll add some more context to the song, which is always fun as well, and to the album overall. Of course, I'm, of course, um, talking about the new album, which is out on, what is it? It is October 27th. October 27th. Riddles of the Sycophants. Uh, sycophants? Sycophants. Sycophants. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Stop naming your album stuff that's difficult to say. But yeah, it is out on uh, end of October. Really excited to hear the full thing. Uh, probably going to leave that one to Brendan for a review as he was the discoverer of Ghost of Atlantis. He's the arguably the bigger fan than I am. So it probably makes sense that he should review the album. But I'm going to check out the single uh, and keep covering them in the single stamps as we work our way towards it. So let's do this. Boomin starts. video comic book really telling a story.
<laughs> That's gonna be kill alive, man. It's fucking epic, isn't it? Uh, Ghost of Atlantis and Epic kind of go hand in hand. You expect it, I desire it. I'm never surprised by it, but I'm still thoroughly, thoroughly amazed by the the, the levels they can go to. Um, the professionalism, the absolute production in it. The, the, they're such a bigger band that perhaps the station in this country reflects sometimes when they play their music and how they perform and the layers they've got on tracks like this and music like this. There, it just screams huge stages, bigger fucking events, things that they deserve and earning slowly bit by bit to showcase this music and get more and more people on board with what they're doing. You know, did really, really well with the first album, but this one, this is a really, really big opportunity to see them push on and really make a bigger name for themselves. Track this is certainly going to help. It is epic, it's that overused word, but they have it. Everything sounds grand while also being heavy as hell. That latter section with the feed, 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 and then leading to that, doof, that such headbanging goal, that is going to slay live. But the chorus is incredible. The interplay between the guttural vocals and the clean singing is wonderfully done. The symphonic stuff, man, it's there, it's notable, it's obvious, but it isn't a dominating feature as well. It's something I really, really like with their style of symphonic extreme metal, that it's not at the forefront you can still hear the guitars clearly you're getting this heavy meaty drum sound the bass hooks are there the vocals are prominent and then you've got this layering and cleverly interweaved symphonic edge it just makes things feel grander and more epic more fantasy based and so on it's something to do really really well so yeah i'm really pleased i'm really pleased video was great too i really love the idea of doing it like as a comic book um Thing, but telling a cinematic story along the way the lyrics coming up so you can kind of sing along if you want or at least read along because it's telling a story more than anything else so yeah banging really really pleased with that two singles released two singles from this upcoming animal two absolute bangers uh it's a good sign for the whole record particularly here in con con uh, context when we eventually get the full full thing the lycian king what do you reckon you got any thoughts on it let me know in the comments Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at gbhbl. Just search for gbhbl and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.